Hello, welcome to this week's 10 day trend. It's set to be quite a juicy one. There's a big change in our weather ahead through the next 10 days. We're going to say goodbye to the milder and at times wetter weather we have at the moment. And instead we're going to see something markedly colder. And with that, the risk of some snow for many places too. But let's start off and first of all, I wanted to look at that change in wind direction that's going to lead to the drop in temperature. Here I have the probabilistic meridional trend for the next two weeks getting further into the future as we go towards the right. Now we have previous model runs, the older the model run, the further down towards the bottom, the more recent model runs at the top and the reds indicate the confidence of a southerly flow. Now, as you probably know, southerly flow means things are going to be on the mild side at this time of year. But as we go through this weekend and through much of next week, there are blues in the forecast which indicate a change in where our air is coming from to more of a northerly direction. And as you would expect, that means we're going to see our temperatures dropping towards the very end of the next two weeks, uh, the following weekend and uh, into the week after. Well, there are less confident signs for where the wind's going to be coming from, but tentative signs that the temperatures will start to pick up a little bit again, but more on that in just a second. The other thing that I wanted to highlight is our forecast confidence index. So the green shaded areas show where forecast confidence is higher than average for that lead time. You can see at the moment it's, uh, well, it's very high, the confidence index. It does drop down as we go through into towards Saturday, a little bit below average. Saturday's a, a bit of a transitional day, so they're always a little bit tricky. Uh, and then it picks up again, it's going to be significantly above of average the confidence in the forecast, which is quite important for what I'm going to be saying as we go through much of next week, but then it drops down again well below average as we go towards the end as so we head towards, well, Friday, Saturday time. Now, uh, I was tempted to actually uh, curtail this 10 day trend to just a nine day trend forecast where confidence drops off at that 10 day period. But nonetheless, I'll try and give a steer that far ahead. Starting off though, let's look at the bigger picture currently. The jet stream running across the UK dips down towards the south and then piles up towards the UK. It's brought quite a bit of changeable, unsettled weather at times through this week and there's more of that to come before we see the change to something colder. Now looking at the pressure pattern, there is an area of low pressure to the southwest of us, quite a deep one. This has actually been named Storm Claudia by the Spanish Met Service. It's bringing heavy thundery rain and some large hail across parts of western Spain, Portugal, the Canary Islands in particular, causing some hazardous weather there. For us, yes, it's the driving force of a, a frontal system. We have a triple point, so an occluded front, a warm front, and then a trailing cold front making its way in, and that's bringing some wet weather as we go through Wednesday. But that all then uh, gradually shifts its way northeastward. So a bit of rain across some parts as we go into Thursday, that clearing away, and then the attention turns to another area of low pressure that develops and brings some heavy rain and some blustery winds in the south on Friday. And then the other thing to bear in mind as we go through the weekend, things turning drier with high pressure developing towards the west. It's coming down from Greenland and then pushing its way southwards, to, uh, pushing, well, towards the Azores. And this is really going to dominate our weather as we go through the latter part of the weekend and into next week. It's going to bring some dry weather, yes, but also allow for a real change in our wind direction. But before we get to that, let's quickly look at Thursday's forecast. And it, like I said, there will be some rain around because of this system that's pushing its way through currently. That rain mainly is going to be over parts of Northern Ireland, Northern England and Southern Scotland. So a bit damp here. Further north across parts of Scotland, we have uh, an Arctic flow already. So our wind coming in from the north. So chilly for sure. And a few showers around. Some of these could be wintry. Some sleet, some snow over higher ground. Across central Southern England and Wales, it's looking largely dry. Some bright sunny weather and pretty mild, possibly even warm, you could say, in the sunshine with temperatures peaking around 16 or 17 Celsius towards the south, further north. Well, a real contrast north to south when it comes to our temperatures because of that Arctic air that's plunging through really colder across the north. Now, I did want to show you the comparison for our forecast temperatures for Thursday compared to average for November because they, again, show the contrast. And you can see that in the north, temperatures around or a few degrees below average, whereas across the southern half of the UK, temperatures several degrees above average. Remember what this shows because it's important for what's coming up later. Then as we go into Friday, now this is the low that is Storm Claudio named by the Spanish Met Service, like I said, and a separate low develops from it. And this is the low that's then pushing towards us, pushes northeastwards. There's a, a front associated with this, which will bring some rain to, well, 
across many parts of England and Wales as we go through Friday. And then as the cold front comes through and invigorates the rain, we're going to see some even heavier rainfall totals as we go through Friday and overnight into Saturday. The other thing that I wanted to highlight is not just the rain that's important with that system coming through. It's also the wind direction coming in from the east. And that's important because we often see our winds coming in from the west, the southwest. An easterly direction with this level of rain, not that cold. Common, and that's going to play a, a pretty important role in where we see the greatest impacts. If we look at the rainfall totals that we can expect, these are rolling rainfall accumulations through the next few days. So taking in Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday into account. And you can particularly see some heavy rain across parts of southern southeastern Wales. And with that wind direction coming in from the east, it's worth noting that it's really across those east-southeast facing hills where we're likely to see the highest rainfall totals. We do have a warning out for much of central southern England and Wales because, yes, across those hills, like I say, south, southeast, or east, southeast facing hills over parts of Wales in particular, we could see 100 millimetres or so. And whilst we relatively often see those kind of totals on the west facing hills, on the eastern side it's slightly less common. And so there's a greater chance of seeing some significant impacts. So heavy rain on Friday and overnight into Saturday across many places, not across the north, largely dry here, but across the southern half of the UK, and there will be some strong winds to go with it as well, so a pretty unsettled day. That rain continues but fizzles out a little bit as we go into Saturday. And then the big talking point is that high pressure that I highlighted earlier, drifting down from Greenland and pushing, extending southwards towards the Azores. And that's going to, yes, quieten our weather down. There will be some drier weather, not totally dry, but some drier weather around. But it is also going to lead to a real change in our wind direction. So whilst even by Thursday we have that cold Arctic air across northern parts of the UK, it is going to push its way south southwards as we go through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. So temperatures plummeting as that Arctic air makes its way across the whole country because of that high pressure towards the west of us. So what that means when it comes to our temperatures, well, you remember I showed you our temperature forecast compared to average for November for Thursday, and it looks very different by the time that we get to Saturday. Still chilly, still colder, or the temperatures a bit lower than average across northern areas, but across the southern half of the UK, where it is several degrees above average at the moment, it's going to drop to around, if not below average, as we go through this weekend. Sunday looks ever so slightly colder again, and then by Monday, with that Arctic air plunging all the way across across the country where well, you can see temperatures do look like they're going to be several degrees lower than average and that's really going to mark quite a change to what we've become used to really through much of November uh, when it's been so ex exceptionally mild. But what happens thereafter? This is the 10 day trend after all so let's have a look further ahead through next week and I did indicate that confidence is pretty high and that goes with the most likely output for this coming Tuesday around a 60% chance of high pressure somewhere towards the west of the UK. So a similar picture to what we're expecting on Monday. This would allow for largely drier weather particularly towards the west. The orange is indicating drier than average uh, towards western parts. It would still allow for some showers to pile down the east but uh, they, they shouldn't be particularly heavy on Tuesday, a few showers perhaps, but the, the big talking point I guess will be the wind direction, so still allowing that cold air to come through. Worth highlighting that the second and third most likely scenarios for next Tuesday, where they have lower percentages, particularly the third as you would expect, but they're not too dissimilar. Still going with the idea of high pressure somewhere nearby towards the west, just the exact position and therefore how dry, how wet it's going to be. Uh, a little bit changes, but pretty high confidence for this lead time for high pressure somewhere towards the west of us. Then similar picture on Wednesday, we'll be likely to see that high drifting a bit further out towards the west. And why is that important? Well, it could allow for a weather system to push its way southwards. Some models having a weather system coming from Iceland and then making its way southwards, particularly down the southern side, uh, sorry, the eastern side of the country. And now this would bring some rain, yes. But on the northern side of it, with still that cold air coming in from the north, undercutting into it, well, it could bring some sleet, some snow, something a bit wintry across some parts. And that's all likely to feed its way southwards as we go through Wednesday. Thursday's setup looks quite similar, as does Friday's as well, with high pressure relatively far out towards the west of us. So sticking with that northerly flow, and we could see some wetter, perhaps even wintry weather, pushing its way southwards as we go through the back end of next week. 
Now, I already alluded to this earlier, but as we go through into the following weekend, early tentative signs are that we could see then high pressure building again from the southwest, quietening our weather down after what could be quite a, a bit of a wintry period, maybe, uh, as we go through the back end of next week and also bringing something milder, so temperatures rising up back closer to average for the time of year. So let's look at that again, but this time looking at our temperature anomaly as we go, or the forecast temperature difference compared to average through next week. And because of the position of the high out towards the west, as we go through Tuesday and into Wednesday more so, you can see temperatures likely to be a few degrees below average. And it's a similar story as we go through Thursday, Friday, and also, well, actually, you know, and then by Saturday, like I said, sign of something a little bit milder perhaps, but it's, it's awfully far away at this lead time. So a big talking point though is going to be the chance of seeing some snow. Now what I have behind me here are some ECM WF plots showing the probability of greater than one centimeter of snow through the next few days. Wednesday, no. Uh, Thursday we're looking at uh, a few wintry showers over Scottish hills and mountains in particular but otherwise not really seeing anything. On Friday with the very wet weather across the southern half of the UK on the northern edge of it uh, over some parts of the well, the hills and mountains over northwest Wales, there's the potential that we could see something a bit wintry. Saturday, apart from a bit of drizzly rain around and clearing away, it's looking largely dry. But then Sunday into Monday, that colder air starting to cut through, greater chance of seeing some showers coming in across northern parts of Scotland in particular, a reasonable chance of seeing some sleet and snow. That chart or that risk increases in terms of its, uh, in terms of how far it spreads across the country, how far south it pushes in, so affecting parts of Northern Ireland, Northern England, maybe North Wales as we go into Tuesday. But it's then through the middle and end of next week when things perhaps get a bit more interesting. As I mentioned before, there's the potential for a weather system to push its way southwards as the high drifts away towards the west. And if this happens, we get some snow on the northern edge of it and that feeds its way southwards. Well, we could see a bit of snow across many places. I mean, if we take this chart, looking at Thursday and even across the southern parts of the country, it's highlighting a, a around 20, maybe even greater than 20% chance of seeing more than one centimetre of snow. So things could turn quite wintry and then perhaps a, a lower chance as we go through Friday, more so by Saturday with something milder. But just worth highlighting that, yes, things are going to turn colder as we go through next week. And with that, then there's a reasonable chance of seeing some sleet and snow. As a whole, through next week, yes, markedly colder, a marked change to what we've had through much of this November, going from several degrees milder than average to several degrees colder. Then there's likely to be some sort of rain pushing its way southwards as we go through next week as the high pressure drifts away towards the west. And with that then, with the cold air, there's a reasonable chance that we're going to see a bit of snow. And uh, with that as well, the other wintry hazard, a bit of ice mixed in as well. But before we get there, we do have some very wet, some very windy weather across southern parts in particular on, Monday, uh, on Friday. We do have some warnings out for that. They're likely to be updated as we get nearer the time, so make sure you stay on top of those. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.